Welcome back guys. And in this lesson, we're gonna get started by creating the UI for the uh, new Hello World application. So let's go ahead and get started by creating a new Xcode project. Uh, let's make this a single view application. Uh, we're gonna call this Hello Local Storage. And make sure that all your settings look just like this. We'll click next, drop it wherever you want. And then like I like to do, let's go ahead and get started by cleaning up the uh, folder structure over here a little bit. So let's create a, an, uh, a folder called application and we're gonna put the app and scene delegate in there. Then we're gonna create another group and we're gonna call it interfaces. And we're gonna put both of our storyboard files in there. And then we're gonna create one more group and we're gonna call it view controllers. And we're gonna put that in there. And let's go ahead and move this stuff around a little bit just to clean things up. And we're good to go. So, uh, like I said, the thing that we're gonna wanna focus on first is just getting the UI sorted out. This is gonna be a pretty simple UI, um, but we need to go ahead and get that out of the way to be able to proceed with the rest of the application. So let's go ahead and start by adding a label to the top. And we're gonna pin this 20 from the top left and right. And we're going to center that Oh, here we go. Xcode being a pain. Uh, if Xcode does this to you and it gets locked up, I feel like this keeps happening to me. Uh, go ahead and leave the storyboard file, come back, and if we click on that label, we should be good to go. Let's see here. Oh, it looks like it took my label away. Let's go ahead and add it back. And we're going to, again, pin it 20 from the top left and right. Hopefully you didn't have that problem, but if you did, that's how you solve it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and center that uh, horizontally and then we're going to make it black color because again uh, if we don't do that then we're going to have it have some weird behavior with dark mode and we just want this to always be black. So uh, let's go ahead and give it a font size of 24 and we'll give it a font weight of bold and just as a default text I'm just going to put hello world just so we know what's supposed to be there. And then we're going to add one more label below that. And we're going to pin that, uh, we're going to go 10 underneath, 20 from the left and right. And we're going to say, you are 5 billion, 460 million, I hope that's enough zeros, uh, years old. And then we're going to center that as well. And we're going to crank this up to 24. And we're going to give it a font size of bold. Now, uh, I want to teach you something else that we haven't really covered yet in the course, which is how to make labels that respond well to uh, different screen sizes. So right now we can see that this is almost making it to the edge um, of the screen. And so if we go on a smaller device, like let's click right here, let's go to device, let's click on an iPhone, I don't know, SE we can see that we're getting this ellipses right here, which is not what we want. We wanna be able to show the whole label on all screen sizes and make it look real nice. So one thing that's built in that's really convenient is to click on that label and then come over here where it says auto shrink. And instead of fixed font size, we're gonna to go to minimum font size. And I'm gonna say, I want this to be a minimum of 14 and a maximum of 24. And the cool thing is as needed, it will scale that font size um, to accommodate that large text there. And we should really do the same thing for this one as well. So let's change the auto shrink minimum font size to 14. And we shouldn't really have to worry about anything fitting anymore. So now let's go back to the iPhone 11 Pro. Everything should look good again. And we're going to go add our button to the bottom of the screen once Xcode decides that it's done loading. All right, now let's grab a button and let's throw it on the bottom of the screen. We're gonna go 20 from the left, right, and bottom, and we're gonna give it a height of 40. And then we are going to make this button say submit. We're gonna give it a text color of black. We're gonna give it a background color of system green. And let's go ahead and make the font size 16, and we're also gonna make this bold. All right, we're looking good. Now, the last thing that we want to do is we want to have those two labels in the middle with, uh, or sorry, the two text fields in the middle with a label on top of each one. So to make that happen, let's go ahead and add a UI view to the center of the screen. Let's go ahead and open it up a little bit so we can fit some stuff in there. And we're going to add a label. And to start, let's go ahead and pin that label uh, zero from the top left and right. And then it's okay, I know it's complaining about uh, the constraints right now, let's not worry about that at the moment. Let's go ahead and add another text field below that. 
and we're going to pin that text field five from the top, zero from the left, zero from the right, and we're going to give it a height of 40. It's still going to complain about that, those constraints, but again, don't worry. It's not going to know what they need to be until we get all these items in here. So this is totally normal and totally okay. Now let's go ahead and add another label. We're going to make it 10 from the top of that text field, zero from the left, zero from the right. And we're going to give that a height of, uh, oh no, sorry. We don't need to worry about a height on this one. This is the label. Um, so yeah, just 10 from the top, zero from the left, zero from the right. And then lastly, let's add one more text field. It's going to go below that label. We're going to pin it five from the top, zero from the left, zero from the right. And we're going to give that a height of 40. Oh, and then we're also going to give it a constraint to the bottom of zero. Okay, now that we have that set up, we can actually get this parent constraint or this parent view to stop complaining so much. Uh, so to do that, let's go ahead and center this vertically in the container, which is going to fix that height problem. And then we're going to pin it 20 from the left and 20 to the right, which is going to fix that width problem. And we can see that all of our errors go away. So now that we have that set up, let's go ahead and change this label right here to say name. We'll give this a font size of 16. We're going to make it bold and we're going to make it black. And then we'll do the same thing for this one. 16, <clears throat> black and bold. And we need to make this one say age. Whoops, age, there we go. Uh, okay, so now that that's all set up, we have the UI set up. So in the next uh, lesson, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna hook up the IB outlets, hook up the IB action, get the data basically displaying on screen, and then sometime after that, we'll start hooking up the local storage. So I'll see you in the next video.